person has Satan who was good and evil. We do good things, we love our children, we go to work every day, you, know, you, you clean the house, you, you, you do what you have to do. And then sometimes you're jealous of somebody, or sometimes your pride rises up, or sometimes you compete with somebody, or sometimes you just, for whatever, it's usually pride or envy, that's what it usually is, you give someone a little, you give someone a little zing, you know, in, in their back, you know. It's, it's, so it's pride and, and envy, that's what it is. It, it all comes down to that, you know, that we're human animals, and that's what we're overcoming. We don't want to be human animals, we want to be, we want to have the nature of God so that we can be sons of God and eventually the son of man with power over sins. It's the son of man that has power over sins. I don't believe Jesus ever said the son of God has power to forgive sins in the earth. He said the son of man has power to forgive sins in the son of earth. Uh, I'm sorry, he said that so the son of man has power to forgive sins in the earth. What, why? What's the difference between... Of the Son of God and the Son of Man when it comes to forgiving sins. There's a big difference, brethren, because the Son of Man is a person who is a sinner who has overcome sin. And in, in any particular area that you have overcome sin, when Jesus is with you and called you to this ministry, not living epistles, the ministry of the Son of Man, okay, you have power to forgive the sins of that person that has the same sin that you overcame. Listen, this is really important. Okay. When you overcome a sin, when you get to this right stage of maturity, I don't know how to describe it to you, the Lord decides, you'll know it when it happens to you. He will send someone into your life that is, is actively practicing the sin that you overcame. And you will develop a soul type with them, probably someone in the ministry or someone in your family. It would have to be another, well, I was going to say it would have to be another believer, but not necessarily, but I would, I would think most likely another believer. Someone that knows that what they're doing is a sin. And then all of a sudden, you're tempted to do it again. And you've already overcome that sin. Maybe 10 years have gone by and you've overcome that sin. All of a sudden, it's staring you right in the face again. What's happening in your life? Well, your new friend has the same sin. Oh, I didn't know that. He never told me that. Well, brethren, the spiritual life is a life of inference. You rarely will be told anything outright. Maybe someone will confess a sin to you, but it's a life of inference. That you, there are spiritual, spiritual symbols, spiritual signals. You have to be alert to recognize the symbols and the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the hints that come either through, either through expressions of people or things that they say to you. Uh, it, it, it's a subtle ministry, you see. You need to be able to recognize these subtle communications. Okay. So you have to ask the question, well, the sin came back after 10 years. There are no accidents. Let me look at this. Let me pray about this. Where did this come from? I remember that person said this, I remember that person said that, I remember that little nuance when something was said and they had that funny look on their face and I never thought anything about it. I bet you they have the same problem that I had and now I've got it again. Well, I overcame it once and I'm going to overcome it again and this time when I overcome it again, I'm not only fighting for myself, I'm fighting for my friend who has the same sin that was not able to overcome it. Did I make any sense? Do you know what I just said? That is the ministry of the Son of Man. So, the Son of Man has the, uh, the authority to forgive sins. What does that mean? Does it mean, that you, does it mean that you just stand there and I say, I forgive your sins, that's nice, now go and have a nice day? No. How, how do I or anyone else in that ministry, the ministry of the Son of Man, okay, how do we forgive your sin? Okay. We help you to overcome it. And the way, way we help you to overcome it is that we experience it and go through it with you. Now, I want to tell you that when the Lord first showed me this, I, I think I was resentful at some point. Maybe sometimes I'm still resentful. I have, to, I have to call it sin. I overcame this sin. Why am I going through this again? Because so-and-so needs help. Well, can't they be helped without me? 
going through this again? No. No. That's the way it works. I didn't set up the rules. I am here to, to, to educate you about what you have been called to. I didn't set up the rules. We're all one soul. There's only one soul that was living, it was alive, and it died. And Jehovah raised up the Lord Jesus Christ, and he wants to save the whole soul.